Okay. 99, 87. I'm going to get you closer to 90. All right, so just try to get that bat a little bit flatter. Every kid's different. You know, before we had Blast, we are looking at a guy's swing and, you know, great swing. You know, great mechanics. We get into a game and it's like, it's not there. You know, or the bat comes off his ball different than a kid that is the same size as him. 101, you're not getting there, right? Hold on. So get your stance. And now you get a blast and you say, wow, this kid's uh, 13, uh, not even uh, generating one kilowatt of power. Like, all right, something's wrong here. He's not using his body. All right, he's not strong enough. Maybe we have to get him into the weight room. Maybe we have to teach him how to use, sequence his body better. So being able to get the numbers, it gives you a little bit of a blueprint of what's happening when the player's swinging. And now as a coach, you can kind of take that data, dissect it, and say, all right, you know, we got to do this with this kid. We got to do this with that kid and not give everybody just a bland, you know, just one way of training for 140 kids. I saw a lot of the tech that was starting to hit Major League Baseball, and with the Astros winning the World Series that year, you know, it was all over the place with Blast. Uh, so we felt that, you know, it was, if it's starting there, it's going to trickle down. And so I figured we'd get ahead of the curve, and before we hopped in 100%, we really did our research on the product to make sure we know what we were doing, make sure we knew what the data meant, make sure we knew what was involved with implementing it into our entire program. So once we figured that out, we went full blown. We got a blast for each one of our players, about 140 players. It was a pretty smooth and easy transition. Turn your body, buddy, turn your body. And now when kids come in, um, when they swing, they, we know what they're doing. We're not guessing anymore. 14.9, again. Perfect. It's just something that basically exposes a lot of things that are being taught now, or things that have been taught in the past and still going on, about hands to the ball, disconnecting the swing, and Blast actually shows you what your deficiencies are when you do those disconnections and things that hamper the connect sequence. Rolling it out was, it needs some explanation. You know, um, what it was, why we were using it, and making sure people understood that the cost that came with it would pay off for them in the long run. You know, for the most part, it's a one-time cost. And we wanted to make sure in our industry where you're charging parents for stuff, you know, it adds up. And we wanted to make sure that when we were charging them for the product, um, you know, they were getting back in value. Um, so we educated our customer on, on what we were doing and why we were doing it. And more importantly, we told our customer that we were doing it because, you know, we want, we want them to hold us accountable. So when we say player X is, you know, doing better, we can actually show it and um, we can validate our practices. There you go, that's better. That's a 59. So coaches can see it, someone that's been doing it for a long time can see what's going on in the swing, but this really quantifies it and allows us to track it and to create kind of a, like a paper trail to be able to see how the player develops. Do they get better? Do they get worse? What do we need to work on? You know, deficiencies, so on and so forth.